Hello everyone, and welcome back to this channel, uh, the power user. I know that I haven't been posting that much, or uploading that much lately. I, I should be doing so, and hopefully I'm actually going to show you something really nice to make it up for that. And is that the Power BI team, Microsoft, uh, they released a few weeks back on main tent, uh Data Connector SDK, which is on Developer Preview. Now, a data connector is simply what you see on the get data uh, experience, the window. So imagine that we're actually in Power BI Desktop. We click on get data and we see this list of all the connectors that we have. And perhaps you have your own system and you want to create your own connector so you can actually connect to your system storage or any type of system that you actually have. You want to connect directly to it or you want to offer an experience similar to the one that we have with the get data. Uh, previously, we were not able to do this. We were able to request uh, this connectors from uh, the Power BI team. That's how things like Power BI service came to life. That's how uh, GitHub uh, and so many more actually came to life. But if you have a need to create your own experience, your own connector, you have now the ability or the tools to do so. I'm gonna show you an example. I have a YouTube analytics uh, connector right here. So I'm just gonna click on connect. You're gonna get this preview connector warning. I'm gonna click on continue. It's gonna pop up this window that you always get with Power Query or Power BI Desktop, which is just asking for credentials. So sign in. Now you're going to get, this is similar to what you get with the Google Analytics. It's just this window where you're going to have to uh, basically allow for this type of access, which is just going to be the view access to see the YouTube Analytics, your YouTube account. And if you are actually a partner uh, with YouTube, you're actually going to see your monetary uh, data. So I'm going to click on allow. And just like that. I'm going to be able to connect. I've also created this experience, which is similar to what we're used to with Power BI Desktop, where you can see your channel data, uh, countries, I have it, and some videos. I'm just going to show you right now videos because this is probably the one that loads faster. So I'm just going to click on load. And I have right now all of the videos that I created, they're right here. So I have the video ID, when it was actually the release. Uh, the title of that video, the description, uh, the thumbnail, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and, and show you how, how that actually looks. I'm going to use this as an image URL. So the title, and I'm also going to show you this medium thumbnail, just like that. So just like that, I have this. Uh, this is probably the easiest example uh, that I can actually pick but I can actually go back to the get data experience. Let's go back. And let me see if I can actually show you something else. I'm gonna show you another workbook that I'm currently working on, which is gonna be a template. That's the whole idea of creating not only the connector, but the companion template that you're gonna be able to just pass uh, your variables or your uh, data and it's simply just gonna load. So right now, as you can see, it's actually showing my revenue that I have so far. Uh, I have uh, how many views I have in the last five weeks. I can change this to be the five days, likes and dislikes spark, uh, how it's actually going on on my video level, how many I'm actually earning per video. Let's say that I wanna cross uh, filter this by only the data that I have from the US. I can do so as well from five months ago to this. I have the activity right here on a day by day basis. And yeah, so this is what you can do with uh, the Power BI desktop. So you can actually create your own uh, connector. As you can see here, I even have my thumbnail, my, my avatar, but this avatar is actually coming from a table. So if I actually use another channel ID, 
it will populate this image with another person's YouTube channel and not mine, as well as the name, the URL for that YouTube channel. Everything is going to be specifically tailored to that uh, YouTube channel. So that's nice. That's, that's really nice. And this is just starting me. Uh, this is just something that I started. Um, hopefully within the next few weeks, I will have a more uh, compiled uh, report, uh, not only just one report at the summer level, but perhaps more uh, analysis at the video level and how I'm actually doing on a uh, per impression, for example, how many ads are being placed uh, per uh, country and perhaps what is the payout uh, at that specific country and how it actually compares to the rest. What are my top three countries and things like that. And we're going to be able to do so. So bear with me. I'm going to be posting as many videos as I can. Uh, it's going to be a really busy week, but I really wanted to show you guys this, what you can accomplish with the Power Query SDK. Uh, go ahead and try it. Uh, the Power Query team or the Power BI team has this website, the data connectors repository on GitHub. Uh, here you can see how they explain how you can create this. You're going to need Visual Studio. You're going to have to download a couple of pieces, but they do have a lot of information here on how you can create exactly what I have created uh, and basically how you can do it for your own system or for any type of data source that you actually need. So thanks again for staying and hopefully I'll see you soon.